This is vlog number eight or nine, whatever. It's time to get dirty. Cars, automobiles. Some of us just use it for getting to, from point A to point B. Some of us have a second or a third car that's just used for fucking around. Like this pile here. Uh, this just basically sits and takes up space and serves no practical purpose except for pleasure. Pretty much a waste. Then you get to a, a car like this. This is my mom's car. 1998 Honda Prelude that she just balled up going the wrong way and I don't know how she went the wrong way and front end some hit somebody basically. So now, since she didn't have insurance, full coverage on it, now I get the pleasure of trying to fix it. Now since I can't fully remove the bolts, because the fucking crash beam's bent down, so I can't remove any of the bolts. Now I've tried the great old, you know, tried and true method. You know, get it in there with a pry bar, but let's face it, this is not a... I'm not running a body shop, and this cocksucker is designed to take a crash, so... The only way to get it off is to cut it off with a fucking reciprocating saw, which is what I'm going to try to do. And god damn, this better fucking work is all I have to say. Now we'll take a moment to talk about the Prelude, right? This is the last generation Prelude, 1998 model. And uh, this was the car with the fabled 2.2 liter VTEC motor. This is what all the young punks in the 90s want to swap into their Civics because they couldn't afford the Prelude, it was just too high-end. Now fast forward 15 years and you have a car that you have cardboard underneath because it's going to leak oil out of every single seal that it has. Rear mains, cam seals, any other seal that's going to leak is going to leak. Let's try this with a fucking smaller blade here. Yeah, that's a little hot. Just a little hot. Right, we're gonna leave that there. Let's see if we can pry at this a little bit more. Fucking junk. As you can see here, to get this side of the bumper beam off, there is a bolt that goes in the center of this hole, which you can't really see in the dark. But it's obviously you get an impact in there and just fucking zip it off. Well, on the other side, one of the goddamn bumper beams, this is the hidden bolt that you're supposed to go through. So I had to cut through, to cut through all this, to saw it, to get this bolt to pull it off, because cutting this whole beam off would be a total fucking nightmare. Of course, my other safety glass is fogged up, which these are too, for some ungodly reason. So now I can kind of get in here with that fucking hand tool to get this fucking bolt off here. I got one more on the other side. Well, we'll see what happens. One click. One click. That's all I'm going to get out of this guy huh? All right, I got the one side of the bumper beam off. Now this is held on by one bolt in the center support that I should be able to get zip gun off through here, I'm hoping. Fucking everywhere in here somehow. It's always some shit that's in your fucking way no matter what you're doing. You could have a fucking 300 by 300 garage and it's still some fucking shit in your way. Oh, you fucking 
fucking gotta be kidding me. You notice I'm using impact sockets on an impact today to avoid any comments about impact sockets. Holy shit, this fucking thing's heavy. All right, let's talk about the bumper beam for a second. This is what the car looks like without it, okay? Now, most cars have that. Uh, and I've seen in the FRS world people actually removing their bumper beams so they could fit bigger intercoolers and all their, all their bullshit they put in the front. Uh, but this is what the bumper looks like, the bumper beam off the car. You can see a 20 mile an impact, 20 mile an hour impact, just push this in here. This is the good side. So this is exactly what this bumper beam is supposed to do. Uh, under small impacts is just crush now it did push in the front bulkhead a little bit but it saved this entire front end a thousand dollars or the damage all of that has been saved because of that bumper beam so if you're thinking about removing your bumper beam know exactly what's at stake all right now that we got that fucking bumper beam off it's the last part of today you get under this fucking pile and pull i oh, know it's in the middle there it is right here i'm gonna pull this fucking plug for the radiator. Green and out all this fucking coolant here. It's probably gonna go all over the fucking place. Oh, my fucking gloves are wet. I'm gonna drink this shit and get high, bro. You can take the cap off, let the air out, or whatever. Maybe I will switch to latex gloves here. I'm sorry, they're not night in the latex gloves, they're nitro. Let's pull my fucking sleeve up though. Oh, watch, it's gonna spray fucking everywhere. Yeah! Look at it, it's nice and green. Like my ex-girlfriend's STDs that she has now. Sorry about that. That makes me have to take a piss.